Hello everyone! Kumusta? Today, I will make an outdoor hanger for this orchid. And I also made one for my other plant. I learned this from YouTube and I added some personal touch. Isn't she lovely? Guapa kaayo and she has four spikes. I have videos about her which I will include the links in the description. I showed her during the Global Virtual Orchid Show 2020. We repotted her and I showed you her roots in Lekka or Hydraton and we took a division and we planted that separately. This is now that division which will soon bloom. If you don't have this yet in your collection and you want an orchid that's always in bloom, find one of this. I bought this as Dinrobium miniaya, but I'm not sure if that's her proper name. By the way, if you haven't heard about Hydraton yet, if you are new and curious, I have a separate video about it where I discussed how much and where I bought it and what I do before I use it and other details, so check that video. Now let's make the hanger which can be used indoors or outdoors and for any potted plants or orchids. These are the materials that we are going to use. This is a nylon rope or clothes rope and this will make our hanger suitable for use outdoors. I bought this at Shopee for 162 pesos for 20 meters, but you can also find this at the hardware stores and I bought the yellow one at the hardware store for 7 pesos per meter. I will also use a steel tape to measure and a scissor to cut the rope. Now I will use just half of this or 10 meters and I will divide that into 4. I have cut the rope and I used just half of the pack or 10 meters and I have divided that into four. So I have four pieces of ropes which are 2.5 meters long each. I also burned the ends of the rope so that they will not fray but you can skip that. I'll start by holding the four ropes together and I'll find the center or I'll fold this together in half. This is the center and I will tie this. I will make a loop and this will be the top of our hanger. Just like this and I will just pull here to adjust and to secure the tie. I hang this in our swing so that I can show you better. I'll just adjust this once more and then we'll proceed to the next step. That's the first part and now I'll add the personal touch. I will tie two ropes together, maybe two or three inches below the first knot. So I will tie four knots, two ropes together. You can also find different tutorials on how to make this in YouTube. Just search for plant hanger. And if you want to use it outdoors, just don't use 
cotton ropes. Use nylon ropes or same type of ropes. I'm done making four knots or tying two ropes together and now I will make another four knots just below the four knots maybe two or three inches below with the same set or the same two pieces of ropes together and I'll tie them together once more. With the same set of two ropes together, I will make another knot just an inch or two below the first small knot. Just like that. Now three more. Tying nylon ropes can be trickier than using cotton ropes, so just add a little effort and more patience. So this is enough. Let's proceed to the next step. From the first big knot, I will measure 15 inches and I will tie two ropes together, just the same set of the two sets of little knots that we made. Just like this and now I will tie three more. Back to the swing, so now this is how it looks like. We have the first set of four knots and then the second set and then at 15 inches below is the third set of four knots the same two ropes together now we will combine or join two sets of tied ropes together so these are two sets of tied ropes together and I will take one rope for each set and I will tie them together just four inches below the knots. You can also adjust the measurements depending on the size of your pot. I am making this for my six inch pot. Now I will take another set of two ropes together, I will take one rope from it and I will tie it with the other one rope from the previous set that we made. I'm sorry if I can't explain it well but if you are doing this, just follow what I am showing you. Now I will join this one rope to the other rope of the other set, this one. I will take one rope and I will join them together. I will tie them together and they will look like this. And then I will tie the two remaining ropes together. I will tie them like this.
Now we are done with the hard part. Just one more knot and we are done. From the top, this is how it looks like. And now I will tie them all together 4 inches below the last knots that we made. Pull each string or rope to adjust and then we will be done. This is done! I'll just place the orchid carefully and we will be finished. Ta-da! <laughs> she looks even prettier now. She looks really nice here but I will transfer her outside and I will also show you how she looked like outside. She is dancing with the wind. Even with our unfinished wall and fence, she looks really lovely. And this is with the nylon rope that we bought at the hardware store. Also looking really nice. Thank you for being with me. Thank you for watching. Maraming salamat. Paalam. See you on my next videos.